Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing something completely different. Um, I'm kind of fishing. Um, myself and Daniel, we're going out onto the local uh, river in search of some yellow belly flounder and black flounder. So we're going to take the um, drag net out. So it's going to be something different. I've never really done like, a video like this before, so um, I'll do a bit of a catch and cook. So. We're gonna go out. Um, we, we went out yesterday and we found a really likely looking spot for flounder. In fact, we even seen some and yeah, there, was, there was quite a few. So we're gonna go out and search for some today. Take the drag nets out, even try to get one on the rod possibly. So stay tuned guys, and I really hope you enjoy this type of video. Cheers. So we've just put the boat in. Um, lovely day. Tide's going out, so. Oh, it's gonna start coming in. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna get the boat out, rip down near the mouth, and hopefully get some of these flounder that we were looking at yesterday. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, this is a good, different type of video. All right, let's see if we can get a feed. That water is so warm. 30. Yeah. 32 degrees today. Really, really hot. So, this water is just really good. <laughs> Loving the feeling of it right now. So, we've got a flounder. Just seen it go in the net. Not a bad size on too, so. Good. Same. Should I grab him? Oh, he's, flapping, he's just here. Yellow belly. Yellow belly, is it? Mm hmm. <laughs> so what you can do some some flour put that a bit more about that much will do turn your oven on and make sure you've got the right grill on get some butter I like cooking flounder and lots of butter so about I don't know, 50 grams of butter or something. Just drop it up into cubes. Just place the butter in there. Actually, pan's nice and warm. And just get that butter moving around and wait till it's all, all dissolved. Get your flatfish, flounder in this case. And really just cover it in the flour. People fillet the flounder. I don't know how to fillet them, so I'm not even gonna try. I do it this way all the time anyway, and this is the way I like it, so. Pretty much rub that flour into it. Tail as well. Yeah, it's basically a flounder all, all, all nice and floured up. It's all starting to sizzle nicely, so pan's nice and warm. You get your flounder. Put them in there. Basically, that's what all that butter's gonna. 
Mouth under my cock them pretty quickly, so put the lid on there and wait. Check out my flounder. That butter's starting to absorb into that flounder, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some more. Basically. It's just really gonna all melt together. Smother into that flounder. Yeah. Can add a little bit of pepper and salt as well. I find adding salt makes it quite like different. So pepper. It's not as much pepper this time. Lovely. Now that's what a flounder is supposed to look like. Right, I'm going to take it off the heat now. So, straight onto our plate. That, turn that grill off. That looks divine. Put a little bit more. A little salt on it, and that looks wonderful. Let's go have it. Let's go. Let's go taste it, eh? Hey? That looks wonderful. Nice meat coating. Let's have a try. Cheers. Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. I'm gonna um, stop it at this video now. So, I'm gonna finish my dinner in peace. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video.